Wild sideshows over the weekend, including one in the middle of the Bay Bridge and another along the Embarcadero. Frustrated neighbors tell KPIX 5's Devin Feely they had to put up with a lot of noise, but the drivers apparently didn't have to deal with any consequences. Neighbors living near the Embarcadero say that they were surprised and frankly dismayed by how noisy and disruptive the sideshow was and by how long it lasted. Super loud. The duration was notable. Went on for quite a while. Uh, 20 minutes. Sean Phelan says that he and countless neighbors were a captive audience Friday night to this noisy sideshow that brought traffic to a standstill on one of San Francisco's busiest thoroughfares, the Embarcadero. I, I can understand the intrinsic problem with enforcement on this where, you know, you don't know it's the police don't know what's going to happen. And all of a sudden it's designed to be sudden, you know, to prevent uh, enforcement. So all of a sudden it turns on, right? And, you know, I mean, it's going to last until it can be dispersed. San Francisco police say they responded to the sideshow around 1145 Friday night. And as they waited for more officers to arrive, the drivers and spectators fled the scene. No arrests were ultimately made, much to the frustration of people living nearby. That is bold, and I haven't seen that. But that, that is bold. That, that would be concerning. As sideshows have become increasingly common and increasingly problematic, communities and law enforcement have come up with ever more creative and aggressive ways of cracking down on them. San Jose police recently deployed more than 100 officers to encircle and ticket more than 700 sideshow participants. San Francisco police did not respond to questions about whether or not their department is likewise considering a more aggressive response to future sideshows. It appears the sideshow moved from the Embarcadero to the Bay Bridge around 1 o'clock, where it once again shut down traffic. The CHP says by the time their officers arrived, the drivers had already left. A lot of noise, disruption, and inconvenience to neighbors and drivers, and this time, no consequence to the sideshow participants themselves. It's going to be fairly high-speed maneuvers that uh, I can appreciate they're better than me at, but that they shouldn't be doing in a public space. Responding in a more aggressive fashion to sideshows like we've seen in the South Bay requires manpower and in turn money, planning and foresight. And so we'll have to just wait to see if the San Francisco Police Department or the CHP adjust their tactics. In San Francisco, Devin Fielder, KPIX 5.